The hottest temperatures of the season are coming to our neighborhoods, and if you're looking to cool off at the Capital Area Community Services Building in Eaton County, you're out of luck. I'm your senior reporter, Danny Valle, here to explain why and what residents in this neighborhood can do. If it's not cold, it's warm, and it's not 90, it's fine. At 86 years young, birthday girl Marjorie Hoover took a stroll Friday at some shops along the Old Eaton County Courthouse. The heat and humidity couldn't melt the smile off of her face. We've been waiting all winter for these. So you're pretty excited about the heat. Why not? But for others, the heat that's coming can be a concern. Officials at the Eaton County Emergency Management Agency are working with the National Weather Service to keep an eye out on those temperatures. However, I learned Friday morning, Charlotte residents can't use this community service building as a cooling center because of a broken air conditioning unit. It sounds like we're going to see temperatures well into the 90s with even maybe indexes into the hundreds. Stay cool, stay hydrated, stay informed. EMA manager Ryan Wilkinson advises people to know their risk before going out in this heat. Knowing your health, limitations, constraints. We're seeing consistent amount of days. Uh, where the index is going to be where it's at. If you're having trouble finding cooling centers in your neighborhood, we have a website that may help. It's called mi211.org. Let's take a look. The home page already tells you what are you looking for. So in this case, you look for extreme heat cooling programs, and then you're going to type in your zip code. I'm just going to type in Eaton, and there you go. And if you're having trouble finding the website, no problem. Just go to our website, fox47news.com, and we'll have that for you ready to go. Here in Eaton County, I'm your senior reporter, Danny Valle, Fox 47 News.